North Korea's Kim Jong-un officially opens a new cemetery for fallen war heroes Thursday, ahead of the 60th anniversary of the Korean War's end. This is the latest in a series of nationalistic tributes, with many dedicated to Kim's grandfather, Kim Il-sung, who launched the war with his southern neighbors in 1950. The war ended on July 27, 1953, which the North calls the Day of Victory in the Great Fatherland Liberation War. Hundreds of war veterans, military officials and families of those who died, including some from China, flocked to the new memorial on the outskirts of Pyongyang. I haven't had any contact with this kind of organization since I returned to my country after the war. We have only held memorials in our own work units. It's the first time I have attended anything like this. I feel very proud to attend such a memorial. North Korea routinely blames the U.S. military's presence in the South as the main reason for continued tensions and conflict in the region some six decades after the end of the Korean War, made possible by a truce signed by the North, China and the United States, but not South Korea.